Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. You guys still doing good in there? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. In this video, we are checking out Hawaii's first and only rage room. If you haven't heard of a rage room before, and I had neither, it is a room where you can break and smash stuff, but do it safely. You get rid of some stress, break a bunch of stuff, and have a little fun while you're at it. Plus, there's also an option where you can also paint and let out your creative side. This is a super fun out-of-the-box experience for coworkers, a group of friends, or even couples. Break and Anger Rage Room is located in Kaka'ako, which is only 15 minutes from Waikiki. We opted to drive, but Uber and Lyft is also an easy option. In this video, I'm gonna go over options, how it works, safety, and an overall review. Now, as for options, you can choose the art room package, the rage room package, or a combination of both. The art package is where you get a ton of paint, you can blast it all around the room that you're in, and you can also take home a souvenir of artwork that you made while you're in the art room. The rage room is where you can pick and choose what you want to break and smash. Next, how does it work? For this video, and so we could try out everything, we did the combo package. And we did the VIP option, so we got all the goodies, plus the souvenir t-shirt, and all the footage that you're gonna see throughout the video. Now, while I usually prefer to film on my own gear and my own GoPro, since we were going in the rage room and we were getting baseball bats and sledgehammers, I thought it best to stick with just the rental. The combo is about two hours long. You start off with a safety briefing. Next, you'll have about 45 minutes inside of the rage room to break and smash all the items that you chose. You get about 15 minutes in the Zen room where you can relax, have some water, chill out for a little bit just as the Zen room name implies. And lastly, you get 45 minutes in the art room to paint your heart's desire. So part one, the rage room. We checked in about 15 minutes prior to the time we had to start. We were on the three o'clock. You get a shopping cart and it's kind of like being in a giant grocery store of things you can break. Welcome to Breaking Anger. So right now you guys get a pick of your own items. You guys get five breakables from the Menehune shelf, five breakables from the Dekine shelf, so treat these two as one, and then two items from the top, which is the big kahuna right there. Um, so in total you guys should have 24 items. Then once we're done with the basic items, we'll move on to the premium. So with the premium items, you get $200 credit towards that. And then once you guys have picked out your items, we'll go get you guys set up with a GoPro upstairs, as well as your stickers and your VIP lounge area. So you guys can start picking right now. Here, you buy it, you break it. This is your shopping cart. You can shop on both sides. Go ahead. We went row by row, choosing what items you wanted to break and smash. And we picked a good variety of things. We picked keyboards, glassware, records, more keyboards, phones, and of course, a giant flat screen TV. And by giant flat screen TV, I mean a lot of flat screen TVs. Next, for safety. This part is important. This is what allows you to do the rage room, but safely. We were fully suited up in safety gear. We had these full jumpsuits, and as you can see in this clip here, it is completely covering me from head to toe. We also got hard hat, face shields, and these heavy duty gloves. And not gonna lie, these are pretty fun. The hard hats have these really zany hairstyles, which looked pretty ridiculous, and I didn't realize how ridiculous and fun they were until I saw our GoPro footage after. We put on our rented GoPro, and we didn't realize this till after, but there's also another camera that's in the room above you, filming everything from a top-down view. So you'll see clips here and there of us literally going to town, smashing these TVs, with a sledgehammer. The staff went over a quick briefing of where we could stand within the room to break stuff. So there's lines that are on the floor, so only one person can be in a specific area at a certain time. And the reason for that is once you smash something, you don't want any of that to actually hit anybody else that's around you in the room. The point is to break stuff, but in a safe, controlled way. So nobody's getting crazy or reckless. Everything is organized and there's a specific way they ask you to do everything. Now, this entire experience was a little bit outside of both of our comfort zones. Neither myself or my friend, neither of us had ever done a rage room before. So for us, this is kind of fun. Now, going off of that, we started off slow. We threw a glass here, a glass there. And as we're building up to it, we were going 
to town with the sledgehammer. Now we started with the baseball bat and then only realized shortly after that we actually had access to a sledgehammer as well. All that breaking stuff leaves you super sweaty and winded. So we had a few water breaks too. Part two was the Zen room. So after we finished our 45 minutes approximately in the rage room itself, we took off our safety gear and headed to the Zen room. This was such a nice chill place to be. There was also a flat screen TV there where we could watch footage of us breaking everything in the room we were just in. Part three was the art room. This one was super fun too. So with this specific room, we also got a ton of gear. That way we wouldn't get any paint on our clothes or in our hair. We got a few bottles of paint and we also had these splatter guns. No rules here. You can throw paint at each other, on the walls, on the canvas, wherever you want within the room. Now for us, we didn't really want to throw paint at each other, but instead we threw it all over the room and on the canvas. And we absolutely loved our finished product. We got to keep the nine by 12 souvenir canvas. That was a nice little souvenir from our actual trip. And just to show you guys what I made. So this is the one that I made. It's art. It's nice, it's art. And now for an overall review. This was a super nice out of the box thing to do. This is great for a corporate team activity, friends celebrating an event such as a birthday, or just a day out with friends. As we chatted with the staff, we found that it was really popular with specific friend groups, especially those that are traveling to Hawaii for celebrations such as a bachelorette party or on the flip side for a divorce party as well. We also heard that there's quite a few team builder exercises where teams will go to do the rage room together. Now you will work up a sweat and remember you have to wear closed toed shoes, which makes sense because you are breaking quite a bit of glass. The jumpsuit that you wear is actually pretty thick too. That way, as the glass shatters on the wall, none of it will actually get on you because you have that protective gear. Overall, super fun experience and something I think you might wanna try out. After this, we finished up around four o'clock or so, grabbed our souvenir painting, and by this time, we had worked up a massive appetite. We each only had a super light lunch, so from here, where the rage room is located, you're only about a mile down the road from Salt. So Salt is at Kaka'ako and it's a small group of restaurants, a little bit of shopping and dining, all in that specific area. One of my favorite restaurants that we actually went to right after this trip, we headed over to Moku Kitchen, super delicious and tasty, and they had a really good happy hour for both drinks and appetizers. What do you think of out of the box Hawaii experiences like this? comment down below. And if you like this video, you might also like our itinerary ideas series where we show you different things you can do around the island. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below.